There are six new players with 100% license, two from Taiwan, two from Korea, one from Singapore. Um, the strategy of some of them is to be able to have access to the ASEAN markets. Right? Uh, for the Singaporean bank, it's the opportunity to serve a bigger population. Our strategy, I mean, I'm wearing a, uh, the, the hat of a CEO of a universal bank. Our strategy is to work with these banks. We're, we're doing some syndications with some of these new players now. Um, some of them need access to our cash management systems to reach the different islands of the Philippines in case they're you know, financing some of the Korean or Taiwanese companies that are distributing in some of these islands. Right. Um, but you know, we don't see them as a threat. I think they add capacity to the system. Uh, it was mentioned earlier, we, still, we, we have 51 PPPs, only 12 has been approved so far. This require a lot of long-term funds. And most of the banks, local banks, are nearing the ceiling of their single borrower limits. So, you know, these this new players will add capacity to the long-term funding that we need for the infrastructure projects.